Welcome to Inspirational Journeys, everyone. My name is Ann Harrison Barnes, and today I have a very special writing prompt for those of you parents who want to encourage kids, uh, school children, kids who would like to give a bit of encouragement to their friends. And Camp NaNoWriMo participants or NaNoWriMo participants who love to encourage people, children in the Young Writers Program. So today, what I want you to do is I want to you to do this in one of several ways. Write a poem or an essay or a letter of encouragement to children who are having to be homeschooled due to COVID-19. I saw this somewhere. I don't remember if it was Jen's blog or another place that I saw this prompt from. I saw an example of this prompt and I'm really thinking about you guys out there who are having to be who are having to shelter in place and do homeschool whether it's digital learning or you're working with your parents on school projects school assignments that their parents have picked up throughout the week or again most of it's probably done online or practicing your writing practicing reading whatever you have to do i want you to write a, a, a letter a poem an essay the adults, I want you to try to write a blog post or a poem or a story, or some sort of uplifting words of encouragement, even if it's just a message on social media. And you know that your kids are on social media, you know that there are kids out there that are on social media or, you know, like Snapchat or, um, or different places, because even the parents might see the, the letter of encouragement to the kids. Parents, why don't you take the time and just write a little note of encouragement to your children who are homeschool who are doing their schoolwork at home and can't get out and play with their friends for little kids what i want you to do is i want you to draw an uplifting and encouraging picture create a collage create a slideshow moms and dads you can help with this too because your kids have friends out there that can't they, they can't see and they miss very dearly so i think we need to encourage one another and this is one of the better ways to do it so create those messages of encouragement through poetry, through creative writing, through your artwork, through just a simple video message that you can place on social media, the parents can place on social media or on a blog, or you can send, especially the older kids, create a video message you can send to your friends through text or through social media or get a pen and a piece of paper and write a letter by hand and send them to your friends. Write letters, create, make, make um, special cards that you can send to your friends and send to other kids because everybody needs a little encouragement during this time, during, during the pandemic. When we're all locked away in our homes, well, a lot of people, except for the essential employees and the nurses and doctors and those who really care for the sick, write a letter of encouragement to them as well because they need a little bit of encouragement they need a little smile they need something to bring a smile to them during the rough days that they have to care for patients the the hard work that they do they need a thank you so write those encouraging letters poet poems essays even a little short story of to, to that could be entertaining to someone needing encouragement today so I want you to do that and I would love to see those share those with me if you'd like so get those letters of encouragement out there and I will talk to you next time thanks for joining me remember to like the videos share them with your friends use the hashtag inspirational journeys when you do and subscribe to the channel subscribe to the podcast and leave a rating or review on your favorite podcast site and I will talk to you tomorrow Remember to go out there and read to get inspired or find inspiration in your everyday life. Create something inspiring and share your creation with the world. For when you've touched one life, you've touched a thousand. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.